having trouble with constipation or passing stool? Want to make things easier with a dietary supplement? I'm Brooke Becker from the UAMS College of Pharmacy and that's the focus of this video where I'll be talking about psyllium, an over-the-counter medication sold as a dietary supplement used to treat occasional constipation. Psyllium comes in capsules, powders, and powder packets. Psyllium absorbs water inside your intestine, promoting the movement of stool through your intestines, resulting in more frequent bowel movements. You may see it sold under brand names such as Jerry Musil, Musilin, Consul, and Metamucil Multi-Health Fiber. In most instances, the dose that you should take is what is recommended on the specific product labeling. It is typically taken at least two hours apart from other medications. This medication is not recommended for self-treatment when constipation lasts greater than one week. Do not inhale psyllium powder when mixing as it can irritate the lungs or cause a reaction. Always take psyllium products with eight ounces of water to prevent choking. Psyllium may be taken with or without food. This medication should not be taken if you experience stomach pain, nausea, or vomiting. If you notice that your bowel habits are changing suddenly or if you have rectal bleeding, you should notify your doctor or talk to your local pharmacist. Common side effects include bloating, stomach aches, or cramps. Nausea, vomiting, or stomach pain should be reported. If you also feel signs of wheezing, chest tightness, or bad cough and itching, these are signs you might be having a severe allergic reaction and you should consult your doctor or pharmacist immediately. Tell your healthcare providers that you're taking psyllium along with any other OTC medications that you might be taking. If you find yourself in need of an aid for occasional constipation, remember that psyllium is a medication that may be helpful. It promotes stool movement through the intestines and comes in various dosage forms, such as powder or capsules. Remember, don't forget to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you experience signs of an allergic reaction or if your symptoms do not improve. This information is provided for public education purposes only and is not intended to substitute for a manufacturer's directions or consultation with a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional. All medication, including those available over the counter, can be harmful if not used as directed and taking more than one medication could result in harmful drug interactions. Please consult a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional before taking any medication or changing an already approved or prescribed medication plan.